I, I cram my hands down back into my backpack and pull out the uh, husk of Millibot and throw <laughs> it into the air. And I say, Millibot, I need you. And then it transforms <laughs> into the Spiderling Cannon. So as as you as you get closer, what you can see, you can see the the chapel kind of in in clear view now. Um, it looks heavily damaged, but the roof still does look intact. You can see the two guard towers flanking the arched entrance. Um, one of the tower is intact; it goes up uh, two stories, and the other tower is uh, collapsed into a mound of rubble. But you can see that there is light from inside the chapel. Elegant arched windows, all that good stuff. So, coming back from our break, the party has arrived at the chapel of St. Brenna, and they have started slowly and carefully making their way up the hill towards the chapel, following the main path. Um, I've just had the party roll stealth checks, just to recap. Farron at an 8, Bulk 16. Oh no, Bulk, yeah, 16, and Diedrich and Daniels both at 12. Okay, so Farron. As you get closer to the chapel, um, you're you're honestly kind of in awe. Um, because you have never been here to this chapel, and your instincts kind of like some some inner energy kind of takes over and you kind of lose your stealth a little bit you kind of like stand up everyone else is kind of like crouching and carefully going you stand up and you walk um pretty close towards the top of the hill taking it all in taking in the sights getting that holy architecture in indeed um so taking in the sights like i said um you guys can see the chapel the domed roof you see the two towers flanking the front door, and you see that one of the towers is crumbling, and you can see a light coming from the chapel. towards. Uh, but you can't see inside the chapel, uh, as seen with the blackout here. So um, you can see that the footpath that you guys were on uh, leads straight up to the chapel, but it also veers off to the right here. And leading to a, um, do, 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 um, the short footpath uh, connects the chapel to a walled garden in the east. Um, what you can see, so the the wall itself stands about, um, from your estimation, maybe about five six feet tall. And peering over the wall is a statue. Um, of a plate armored woman, perhaps she's wearing you know some type of armor, and uh, just standing there looking towards the chapel. The other thing you can see is towards the right, in front of the garden, is a um, a man. A man wearing some armor. Um, it looks like you can see perhaps a helmet and perhaps something small on the arms. Um, and to the right of that, you can see five horses hitched to a tree. What do you do? Do you guys think that's the people we ran into earlier? Are these live horses or do they look like they're corrupted or something funky about them? They are, in fact, alive. Uh, the man, he is uh, sitting on a rock, and he's kind of looking at the horses. He hasn't noticed you approach. Do you guys uh, think we should take him out stealthily? Could this be part of the a Fallen Flame sect? I I would say that this is part of the Sacred Flame defending I, one of use their a, last I, remnants. Can I, use a I, don't, I don't know if this would be a Sacred or Fallen Flame. 
Um, what are you trying to notice? Are you? I'm trying, trying to, to see if I can tell if if they're the group that we saw earlier. Um, okay, so as you crawl a little bit, kind of up to where Farron is, and you kind of pull him down, and um, as you look over, um, you can see one of the horses is, and there are five horses. You can see one of the horses has. Um, uh, what is referred to as barding on it, which is basically armor for animals. Um, and the man who is standing there, uh, or sitting on the rock, rather, um, it it's not a hooded lantern. Um, you know the hooded lanterns very well. The green cloak, very uh, uh, distinguishable. And I try to see if there's any iconography on either the horses or the man of either the sacred flame or the fallen flame. Um, from this distance, you can kind of just see that the horse is wearing armor. All right. Um, I'm not sure that these are people we're trying to fight. We could try to approach carefully. We don't have to make enemies of people, just like what we did with the Hooded Lanterns. Should we just introduce ourselves? Um, either that, or we're gonna have to make sure no one sees us, because either now's our chance or never. As oh. you guys are having this conversation, I'm gonna have you all roll another stealth check. Hopefully, I'll no. roll better. Farron coming in with a uh, hot garbage. Uh, I know Farron roll five. Okay. Farron twenty. Uh, bulk. Uh, uh, Oh, natural one, but a three. <laughs> okay. Uh, Diedrich? <laughs> Six. And Daniels? 20. Okay. So, um, Farron and Daniels were having that conversation they were just having. They're very quiet. They're kind of huddled up next to each other. They're, they're kind of near the top of the hill, and they're kind of looking over, whispering to each other. Um... Bulk has his arm on Tedric Steel Valley. They're kind of behind those two. And uh, <laughs> uh, Bulk, you can feel something like itching underneath like the scarf or whatever the bedroll it was that you were wearing. And you're kind of, you keep going like, you keep just kind of like slapping yourself. And then you pull off the scarf. And you let out a oh. <laughs> yes, please. Excellent. Um, the man is spooked beyond belief. He like falls off of the rock, and he uh, he grabs onto. He has a spear, and he grabs onto the spear, and he's kind of hiding behind the rock, and he says. Who, who, who was that? Who was that? I know you're there. I heard you. We mean you no harm. This is Diedrich Steelbelly and his friends. We are, we are here to help. He I'm, screams. He says, I'm gonna Sir, come. Sir, Sir Landry! And he starts I'm, running towards the chapel. I'm gonna come forward and start doing like any religious iconography that would be symbolic of the sacred flame. I don't really know if they have a whole like hand gesture motion thing going. Probably would no, be better gonna, just to use your words. I'm gonna walk up. Words. I'm gonna walk up and start reciting yeah, that fine. same prayer that I did the last time. Whenever you were like, Farron would know this by heart. And I was like, Farron recites this. I'm gonna walk up saying this hands over each so, other. I'm gonna say like thick ass gonna... robes. Daniels, what are you gonna I'm... do? I'm going to do like a whistle and Barkus is going to run and pounce on him and push him into the dirt and kind of like growl while standing over him to prevent him from getting into the tower. Okay. Uh, Diedrich, Bulk, what are you guys doing? I'm shocked. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Bug. So you're just going to see how this plays out. Yeah. If I okay. can, I'll try to run up to the guy and just like try to like words of affirmation be like, we are not here to cause you any trouble. We're just trying to make sure things are secured. We are okay. just trying to protect this as much as you probably are to be. Okay. So very good. And then roll I me a no hold on, hold on, hold on. Um so okay. So Farron, 
Yeah. You move, I'll say... I'm, I'll um, be right up to that guy. I'll be kneeling down with Barkus on his back. I ain't trying to well, push Barkus off, but... Let's hold on a moment. So let's say you can move 40 feet. So set, you said you were running, so let's just say you get somewhere... I can do. Uh, right. I can do. A, I can double move like forty. I can have eighty feet. I can. I well, not could. not in not in this surprising situation. Nah. Oh, by the way, real quick, can everybody update their hit points? If it was different, oh, yeah. we move to a new map, and the token may not be correct. It may be correct, but it may not be. Oh, I'm um, good. Barkus was hurt. I don't remember what Barkus was. Oh yeah, yeah I'll get show Barkus. Show Barkus. Yeah, I, he had sixteen. I've never been able to see his HP. I just see like a bar. Yeah, that... I just see a bar. His, I think, was 16 out of 20. It was 16, yes. Um, yeah. And I will fix that as well. Okay, so one moment, please. As I deal with Barkus. Roll 20, get your shit together, bro. All right, that update probably broke two other things while it fixed okay. one or two. That should be it. Okay, so, <clears throat> and this is off the map, but it kind of represents the hill. I don't know why they didn't make the map bigger, but whatever. Um, so, Danielus, you also kind of run forward, and then you send Barkus sprinting. Actually, let me do this. So Barkus can get super close. Okay, so let me set the scene. So, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> the frightened knight holding his spear, has run towards the chapel. Farron, running forward himself, saying, we mean you no harm. We're we're only here to seek the chapel. Uh, meanwhile, Danielus and Barkus takes off with hate in his eyes. He's ready to rock. And at this point, I'm going to have you guys roll for initiative. <laughs> okay. Initiatas, Farron at 17. Hold on, hold on. Slow down for me. Sorry, I got a lot going on on my side as well. You are good. <clears throat> um, so Farron with a 17. Bulk, I'm ready. 20. Okay. Diedrich? 7. And Daniels? 5. Okay. Not the way you would expect it to go. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. So. Um, what you can see. Pardon me as I get this up. Okay. Oops. Okay. So, what happens is uh, this knight has run towards the chapel, screaming. So, Solandry, Solandry, there are people here. There are people here. The dog is after me. And a couple of men who look just like him have come to the door. They're saying, What's going on out here, Pawkins? Keep it down. They look up and they see you as well. And they shriek, Intruders! At the top of the round, we have Bulk. Um, and I'll just say, just as a point, just because we rolled initiative doesn't mean you have to fight, but there is movement going on and an aggressive action, so I wanted to just capture that. So, Bulk, you're the first to act. You felt that itch, and you have that sensation, and you've ripped off your scarf, and you are now... So I, I can see what's happening, at least. Yes. Um, yeah, you're a little bit farther down the hill. I'll move you up to here just for ease. But yeah, you're right there. 
can I make my Eldritch Cannon? Sure. I'm going to make my Eldritch Cannon. Using an action? Yeah, using an action. Okay. Okay. Um, so what does that look like? <laughs> I, I cram my hands down back into my backpack and pull out the uh, husk of Millibot and <laughs> throw it into the air. And I say, Millibot, I need you. And then it transforms <laughs> into the spiderling cannon. The shape of water. Okay, I was imagining so... just the Millibot corpse just... <laughs> <laughs> Effectively, that is what happens. So, both tell me uh, where can you place the uh, five feet. the Eldritch Cannon? Five feet. So uh, within within five feet. Of you? Yeah, I'll do it right in front of me. Okay, right in front of you, and you scream out, "What, <laughs> M- Millibot? I need you!" Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> the two knights at the door, seeing not only the Doctrine glow that you are emitting from your head. Um, but I imagine the Eldritch Cannon, uh, because it has the delirium sh- sh- fragment inside of it, also emits a bit of a glow. Certainly smaller than yours, you are way more noticeable. Um, but the two knights, they react and they say, It's one of the glowing ones. This is what we've been warned about. Salandry! Salandry, Father Boykins, please come! And that takes us over to Farron. Farron's going to move right in front of these knights and just be like, "Brothers, I I am one with the I am one of the brothers of the Sacred Flame. You need not worry. He may not know what he does. Don't pay attention to his glow. It's a side effect of the arcane. He's fine. He's always mentally unstable. Nothing has changed with the crystals." Roll me, <laughs> just... a, pers- roll me a persuasion check. That no. was eloqu- eloquently worded. Let's see how it goes. I'm so bad at persuasion <laughs> with a <laughs> minus one. Ah, okay, I did okay. 15. There we go. There we go. It was a 16. <laughs> but I'm just going to be like, uh, he means you no harm. He's just mm-hmm. making sure to protect himself. We are not coming for a fight. We're coming to make sure everything is secure. I am I one see. of you. Yeah, I that was a little bit long for six seconds, but I'll take I'll consider well, that first half. I, I, that was yeah, certainly that was certainly sufficient. That was certainly yeah, sufficient. Yeah, I'll take that first half because we got the vibe. Way more eloquent. <laughs> we got the vibe, and you rolled a fifteen, so we're we're feeling yeah. good. But I was they don't hold open palms, just like almost like embracing a hug, but also fair is not a hugger. They <laughs> don't. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Let me reveal a little bit more of the map, by the way. Um. Oh boy! Remember when I said uh, that I just switched to a new layout? <laughs> oh no! Oh, here we go. Reveal. Enhance. <laughs> yeah, right. Enhance. <laughs> okay, so um, Baron, especially um, running up to the knights, you give your plea, saying that you're not here for violence. Um. The knights do not attack you on sight. They say, "Oh, he's been chased by one of the by one of the glowings." Uh, quick, get inside, brother. And uh, okay, I'll go inside. <laughs> uh, one, one more night. You can see comes up behind the two knights that were standing there. And uh, the the man in... So the man... Uh, the knight. Two men walk forward. <laughs> One of them is clearly a knight. He is dressed in full plate armor. Um, it's kind of a dull silver. And the man to his... Uh, to your left is a old man. Uh, He's wearing robes that are familiar to you as priest robes. Okay. Um, The man in plate armor screams out, I say, what? What is this disruption? What is going on? If there are intruders, turn them away to your weapons. 
and uh, the older man in the back, if I can get onto the right layer, he calls out, in the name of the flame, we shall banish this evil. And he is going to cast a spell. Is he He's saying? Going... Never mind. No. Yeah, All he of... is. What's your question? I was going to say, is he saying like a flame prayer thing that I can try to like recite the next line to try to deter this? He has clearly referenced the flame, um, but he's going to cast his spell. Okay. For sure. Cool. Um, and he is going to cast Fairy Fire um, in a, what is that, 20-foot cube? So what's the range on that, by the way? Let me check that really quick. 60 feet? Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. <clears throat> so the man is going to cast Fairy Fire um, on Bulk, Diedrich, and the Eldritch Cannon. So I'll need Dexterity saving throws. Um, Diedrich, you'll remember you have an ability, Reckless Sense, I believe, that gives you advantage on Dexterity saving throws. Yep. When you can see them. Oh. Well, that almost looked good, but I got I, advantage. That 18 was staring at us. I know. Hey, 14 ain't bad. Okay, Bulk, what did you get? A six. A six. Diedrich, what did you get? 14. Okay, I believe that Ten. is a... That is a save. Uh, oh, wait. Yep, that is a save. Um, and then for the Don't tease cannon... me now. How is that? I think it's just a 10. Oh, it's plus zero. So what did you roll? Oh, I rolled a six. Oh, I'm sorry. Was... Well, yeah, roll roll a d20 for the cannon. Yeah. Each roll it. Yeah, the d20, and then it's plus zero for the save. <clears throat> hey. Okay. And that was a 16, yes? Yes, sir. Yep. Okay. A 16 succeeds. Um, so, bulk. Not only are you <laughs> illuminating the purple glow, uh, it's actually even more purple. So <laughs> I'm very actually, purple. It's a, yeah, so the purple that you were exuding before now is 10 feet even wider. So it's like it's a 10 feet radius around you now. Um, any attacker, any attack made against you is made with advantage while this spell is in effect. Um, and that is going to take us over to Diedrich's steel belly. Diedrich. I would like to, uh, grapple bulk. Put him in the You're dirt. You're going to grapple bulk. Okay. I'm grapple bulk, put him in the dirt. Do I make okay. a strength check? Uh, he, yeah. Bulk, are you, are you going to fight this? Oh yeah, I'm going to fight that. I don't want that to happen. <laughs> okay. So Diedrich, you're going to roll an athletics check. Bulk, you have the option of an athletics or a um, acrobatics check. Let's it's up go. To you. What you get? You got it. Diedrich got an 18. Oh. Oh! 21. <laughs> okay, Bulk, what'd you get? 21. <laughs> and Diedrich? 18. 18. Okay, so Diedrich, you move forward to try to tackle bulk and you just kind of <laughs> your little goblin frame is not enough even though you are strong it's not enough to move the body of the what 400 500 pound what did we say for yeah. four split it right in the middle the 450 pound turtle um so <laughs> yeah so he stands resolute and and you're just kind of like pushing up against him so that was your action. Yeah. Uh, for my bonus action, I'm just going to yell out that we mean, we mean no harm. Um, You're attacking me. What do you mean you mean no harm? <laughs> uh, Diedrich, roll a, uh, roll a, roll a uh, persuasion check. All right. 
Son of a bitch. <laughs> what was the roll? I, I, an eight. Okay. With an eight. Um, as you go to tackle Hulk, <laughs> uh, they don't they don't quite hear you with your little goblin vocal cords. And all they hear is uh, Bulk screaming out, What do you mean? You're attacking me! And, uh, okay, so you're staying put there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, the two soldiers uh, in front. Uh, so to give a description on them, they, uh, like I said, they look just like the other man who is outside. Um, they are also wearing like an odd mishmash of armor, almost like they took like one piece of armor, maybe a piece and a half, and kind of cobbled it together into something that all three of them could wear. Um, this soldier out front. He uh, is like staring face to face with Barkus, and he is like terrified. So he is going to run and like jump through the window <laughs> into the cathedral. <laughs> Full Scott Pilgrim, like <laughs> into the nice. chapel, I should say. Nice. <clears throat> so he is out of view. Um, the the two men at the front of the door. <clears throat> one of them is going to. He's he's. The one right in, fr uh, in front of you, Farron, he's going to try to grab onto you and pull you inside because he believes you. Um, I'm not going to resist. He happens to think that you were being chased by Bulk and <laughs> by Tedrick. So you're not going to resist? I'm not going to resist. We're going to be like, they're, they're good. They're good. They mean you no harm. But like, I'm oh. also not going to like, I'm not going to push off. I'm not going to resist. He's pulling me in. I'm going to go with it. Hands no like, touchy. Yep, I'm just going to be like, they're good, they're fine, they're weird, but they're fine. Okay, he's going to pull you in, and he shouts, Solandry, Solandry, this one, he, he's being attacked, we have to protect him. And the man at the front of the door, um, he says, S -s 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 stay, stay, stay back, you, you monster. And he's going to take a shot at Bulk. Uh, made with advantage. Uh, whoop. Uh, whoop. Um, getting a 16 to hit? No, sir. Okay, so the man, like, fumbling with his crossbow, he's trembling, and he fires it, and it sails over your head. Um, that's going to take us to Danielus and to Barkus. Okay, so I let out another whistle to command Barkus, and me and him start trying to push our way into the castle. Okay, measure out your movement and tell me where you're going to go. How far can I go? Uh, you tell me. What's your movement speed? It's it's on the top bar towards the right. I'm 30 feet. Okay. So you could take your full action to run double that, but you don't need to. Uh, no. So I'm going to walk. Turn with Diedrich. <laughs> oh. I, I'm just. I'm, I'm going to go oh. here, and then Barkus is going to go here. Okay. And that will be it. Are you doing anything? <laughs> are you doing anything? Are uh, you saying anything? I'm just I'm just gonna say like um, let our friend go. Okay. That's it. Um that takes us to bulk. Um I'm pretty salty. So <laughs> I'm gonna use my Eldritch cannon to fire okay. protector onto Danielus. I'm sorry. <laughs> I actually should have specified when you made your cannon. So your cannon... Yes, it's You protector. can't switch between those three. Correct. Okay, protector. so you're choosing protector. Yes. Okay, and tell us what protector does. Uh, sorry, every time I hit spacebar, it scrolls me down. Um, it... 
Protector. The cannon emits a burst of positive energy that grants itself and a creature of your choice within 10 feet of it a temporary hit, uh, hit points of 1d8 and your intelligence modifier. Okay. Um, so you're not within 10 feet of Daniels. So are you going to move the cannon? Yes, I will move it the five feet. Okay. And within 10 feet, so that's going to be uh, Danielus, Diedrich, and Bulk. Yes. Okay, so roll whatever it is you have to roll. What do you have to roll? Uh, a D8 plus intelligence. Oh, I double clicked it. It's, it's a set. That's okay. Okay. Um, so Danielus, Bulk, and Diedrich have gained uh, seven temporary hit points. As well as the cannon. Let me check that. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys know how to add temporary hit points? This will be a good thing to do. Yep. Yeah. Basically, to the right of your hit points, there's a little place that says temp, and you can go in there and type. And the good thing is that temporary hit points uh, last, what, until your next long rest? Is that right, Matt? I, do. I think it's short rest. I think it's any rest and they would go away. But they also don't stack. So like say you had seven and someone granted you mm -hmm. eight, the eight just supersedes it. Right. And now that I think about it, I'm actually familiar with these rules because of my spores druid business. Um, it lasts until your next long rest, at least. It's oh, it definitely nice. lasts through a short rest. I know that. So okay. Um so you guys have gained temporary hit points. So it doesn't uh, uh show up in uh roll twenty? Probably not. Okay. No. no. Okay. No, we'll just have to track it. Yep. Yep. That's fine. Okay. Um. So bulk, we've gained temporary hit points, and for uh, you still have an action. Yeah. For my action, I'm going to move up next to the cannon, uh, advancing towards. Be like, what's going on? What's happening? Okay. Um. All right. That takes us over to Farron. Farron. Um, so Bulk in his monstrous form <laughs> continues to uh, shamble forward towards the door, emitting a bright purple glow. Um, the cannon itself has also emitted a purple glow, a purple shining energy <laughs> over <laughs> Tanulus, uh, Bulk itself, and Diedrich. So there's just bright purple light emanating from the uh, from the doorway where you stand. Um, so I'm going to try to move toward the door one space closer and just kind of like hands outstretched, be like, they come with, they have come with me. We mean you no harm. We are fine with just talking. If you feel more comfortable talking with us outside, so be it. Okay. Um, the men do not appear to be, uh, persuaded by your argument at all. Um, they still are not hostile towards you. Um, the man in the back calls out, Enough words! Do you stand in front of that beast or not? And he is preparing his weapon. Can I reply or can I not reply? You can reply. I can reply. Who is this saying that? The old guy in the robes? Uh, the... Uh, I'm sorry, this is the man um, the old guy in the I robes in the back? he's right here, not not the man in the robes but the one who is in full armor oh, okay um, I'm just going to message out and be like, St. Tana used to be bloodthirsty before she found her path don't, don't, find, don't think that it'll be the same for you peace can be achieved okay um I'm going to give you one more persuasion check. God damn, my persuasion's such shit. But, I was like hoping, I was like, religion? What? <laughs> but I'm going to let you make it with advantage. Ooh, it's still probably going to be shit. Minus one persuasion. First one. Uh, 12. Not, Not bad. bad. Not bad. Okay, number two. Worse. Worse. We'll go with a 12. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. 
the man in the full plate armor. Oh my god, my encounter just pooped itself. Hold on one moment. While we're holding, you can go to the Funky Store, Funky Dot Store, to get some merch. <laughs> There's some great T-shirts over there. <laughs> funky Dot Store, like you can check it out. Force. Like, 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 and subscribe, and do all the good things. You know, we want to see us here at Funky Quest on Funky Games. So we appreciate you. Limited Run Space Force, <laughs> Limited uh, Run Space Force shirts. You can get them now before we get the takedown. Did this man just put a plug in the middle of my encounter? Incredible. Um, <laughs> incredible. Okay, so, um. This one, he is, he has drawn his sword and uh, he is going to try to barrel past uh, Farron and Danielus. Are you guys going to offer resistance or will you let him pass? Yes. Yes. No, we'll block him. Well, Farron's first up technically. He's got that mute on. He's got the he's mute, got on. mute on. He oh, doesn't realize mute. it. I will have my hands still outstretched and just not offer resistance because I'm still trying to pers per persuade them that I mean no resistance. And okay. I hope that I can convince them. For for the sake of this exercise, I'm going to move you to the left. He is barreled yeah. past you. Daniel, so you're offering resistance? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, you have your choice of a... Um, Let's see. I think when he's just running straight through, I think it's contested strength checks, actually. Matt, do you know? Because it's not a shove. He's trying to push. He's just trying to run right past. I think it would be like, yeah, what you were thinking. Contested strength, I think. Yeah. Opposed strength, just because if it was an acrobatic, it'd be dodging out of the way, not stopping. Correct. So, Daniel, is give me an uh, athletics check. Not bad. Okay. Team. Okay. Um, I rolled an eleven. So he has drawn his sword. He has pushed Farron out of the side, and he has run up against you. You will not let him pass. If you're with the beast, then you will be destroyed by the flame. These monsters will be purged. And he's gonna make some attacks at you. <laughs> 